Fazana Omar had her heart set on becoming a makeup artist, but she also felt that she had to do the sensible thing and prepare for a business career. So did the one option exclude the other, or has she been able to find a third path to success and happiness? Michelle met up with Rosanna to get the answer. Cape Town-based Rosanna Umar has made her mark in the field of bridal hairstyling and makeup, thanks to the clean, dewy and natural look that has become her signature. She enjoys the challenge of creating a concept from scratch, and a warm personality enables her to establish a relaxed rapport with her clients. Having followed her passion for hair and makeup, Rosanna Omar has risen against great odds to become a sought-after artist. What I'm really curious to find out is her journey from a corporate employee to a full-time businesswoman. I smell coffee. What a beautiful welcome. Hello. Hi. It's so lovely to meet you. You too. I've just met you and I can already feel your positive energy. What were you like growing up? As a child, I was very creative. I was very arty. I loved having lots of friends. I had lots of energy. I was very ambitious. Who were your biggest influences? When I was 16, somebody did my makeup and I was fascinated by the transformation. Um, and in that moment, I knew that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I wanted to make people feel how that makeup artist made me feel. Rosanna, for a while you were juggling both a corporate job and starting up your own business. How did you manage the two? Well, Monday to Friday I was in the office and on the weekends I was either on shoots or on weddings. But I feel like it never ever felt like work because I loved what I was doing on weekends. So it actually felt like I was doing a hobby and at some stage I was finishing my degree as well so I just I learned how to manage my time. Would you say your time in the corporate environment was beneficial? There's no doubt about that. The way I run my business, the way I deal with my clients because of, I was in corporate for so long. I was in retail, I was in a customer driven environment and I was in an environment where you had to communicate professionally and in that way I know exactly how to speak to my clients, how to answer emails, how to present my brand. It's quite a competitive industry. What do you do that sets you apart? Each one of my brides is special to me. I honour my brides before the wedding, long after the wedding, actually for the rest of their lives. I feel so honoured that they have booked me for their wedding makeup and I believe that that is why I'm successful because I treat them with love and care. And besides the fact that I love what I'm doing. How would you describe your signature style? My signature style for my brides would be more on the classic side. So I try to stay away from trends because I know that in 30, 40, 50 years time when my brides are looking at their wedding pictures, I want them to still like the way they look. So my signature style is more natural. So what I'm doing is I'm enhancing the client's natural beauty and I'm using makeup only where it's necessary. I can show you. Yes, please. Rosanna's subtle approach lends itself to traditional weddings because she is careful not to draw attention away from the natural beauty of the bride herself. This is Palesa. She'll Hello. be modeling the fashion editorial look for me. What works in fashion doesn't always work in bridal because bridal makeup is meant for longevity and for example, what's happening on the runway at the moment is something like glossy lids which wouldn't work on a bride. But in fashion it would be perfect. Palesa's got these beautiful freckles and for that reason I used a very sheer foundation so that um, I didn't cover the freckles. What I like to do is I like to make sure that the skin actually looks like skin. I don't want the model to look like she has a lot of makeup on. In fact, I don't want the model to look like she's got foundation on at all. This is my fashion editorial look which I love. I'm loving the glossy lid, I love the bronze brown. It pops her hazel eyes, the glowy dewy skin, and I've just popped a little bit of lip gloss onto her lips. So that's my editorial look done. I'm going to call my next model in for the bridal look. Thank you. The future bride. How are you feeling? This is a real love saw <laughs> bride. For Ishreen, I've chosen a classic look, something that is perfect for day into night. I've done the first half of the face, I'm going to show you how I do the other half. Rosanna, what's your favorite product or tool that you never leave home without? If I had to choose my two favorite tools, the one would be my beauty blender and the other one would be my Fix Plus spray because without those two, I wouldn't be able to create flawless skin. What are some of the bridal hair trends? Hair is very specific. 
uh, it's according to the bride, so it's according to her face shape. They each have their own things that they want to hide. Some of them want to hide their forehead, some of them want to hide their ears, some of them want all of their hair to the back. So it's really, it depends on the face shape, depends on the hair accessories, if they're wearing a tiara, if they want the hair up or down, if they're having a veil. So I first have to discuss all of those things with the bride and then we decide what would be the perfect hairstyle for them. Congratulations on winning the Elite Makeup Artist of the Year. What does that mean to you? Thank you so much. It feels amazing. I was really so happy and I was so honoured to receive this award and receive recognition from the wedding industry. It was a huge highlight in my career. You've gone international. How does it make you feel when brides request you from abroad? It's the best feeling ever knowing that I get flown across the world to do something that I love to do. So this is my bridal look complete. I'm very happy with the skin. The skin is glowing. Her eyes are popping and yeah. What advice would you give to others who would like to pursue their own passion? You need to follow your heart. You need to follow your passion. I feel like your life is only going to start falling into place once you pursue your passion. And once you pursue your passion, then your purpose becomes clear in life. And that's when everything else falls into place. So I would say, take the risk, pursue your passion, you won't be sorry. Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Rosanna is a living testimony to that.